What's up YouTube, it's AJ Watt back to you guys with another figure unboxing review, this time of the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Man thing, Daredevil Electra figure from, of course, the Netflix Daredevil series. Very awesome looking figure, still haven't took out the packaging, still can't wait to open her up, but still a cool looking Electra figure, and as you guys can see, we have the standard Marvel Legends Ah, Marvel Legends packaging and you can see it says Marvel Daredevil Electra Very cool and then this one comes with one of the legs for the man thing then on the top You have a picture that says E I guess for Electra Then on the side you have a nice image of Electra right over there from the Netflix series Then on the back you have a nice uh, product shot of Electra as well as the man thing and the rest of the figures in the wave. Then a nice uh, little bio of Electra right over there on the top right corner. So now that we got packaging out of the way, let's go ahead and open up Electra. And so here I have the Netflix Electra out of the packaging, looking awesome. Only have just two gripes with this figure, and we'll get into that after we check out the accessories. But overall, I am really impressed with this figure. The likeness is very accurate. Only thing that's uh, missing on the figure is just like a little bit of shadowing effect to give her kind of a kind of like a dirty look, just like at the end of season two of Daredevil. Other than that, really do love the figure. So let's go ahead and check out her accessories before we check out Elektra. And as you guys can see, she comes with two katanas as well as man things left foot but we'll go ahead and check him out in his own review but we just have a uh, playing katanas kind of basic in my opinion a little bit too basic there we go you can see the little uh kind of the line effects going throughout over here on the handle not very sharp and then the plastic is kind of uh Kind of too bendy right over here where the blades where the blades are. So and it's kind of warped too. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not straight at all. Nothing that a hair dryer can't fix or some hot water. But pretty cool looking uh katanas, whatever you want to call them. And the other one's warped as well also. So no uh nothing special on them, just plain katanas, so can't get mad at that. She doesn't come with any extra hands. Not really a bummer, but pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out Electra. I forgot to show you guys the alternate head, which I think is like so freaking accurate. It's not even funny. It's starting to get on like the Mesco Hot Toys level, what Hasbro's doing right now. One thing they have to fix is body mold. Stop reusing the same body over and over again. But this face sculpt is phenomenal it really looks just like Electra from the Daredevil series the ears look nice the hair is done awesome it looks just like her which is cool and the uh, point tail does, does not have any articulation so don't try to move it it's a uh, plain plastic so don't mess up your figure trying to do something FYI you can see it's kind of like glued right there I don't know if you can see it right there. There you go. But still an awesome looking head sculpt. Still don't know which one I'm going to have posed up with. And so here I have Electra with her uh, kind of bandana around her mouth looking awesome. It's kind of weird. You can see like her eyebrows kind of look like they have a uh, kind of like a cut. Kind of like little cuts on them like right there. I guess it's because of the way the uh, the lighting is. But really like the way this head sculpt is. Only gripe I have about it is when you check it from the back. About right. I don't know if you guys can see if the camera can get it. You can see the peg right there. There you go. That thing it looks nasty from this angle. It looks terrible. Terrible. And the ponytail on this head does not articulate either. And then when you move the head up forward too, you can see the ball peg as well also. <laughs> And the joint, so yeah, looks kind of like a duck right there, but hey, still pretty cool. Love the way that the, uh, the articulation is for the head, can't get really mad about that. 
and her suit is done very awesome you can see the wrinkles right over here on her undershirt and then right over here on the shoulders as well really do like that and then on her abdomen you can see the shirt wrinkles right there pants are done pretty awesome pretty cool kind of like a like a light black going on you can see a little silver right there for the buckle or the button should I say back of the figure right there pretty awesome mm, just a little bit tiny booty going on not that much though kinda accurate to the actress you can see the wrinkles right over there at the bottom of her pants she has some wrinkles on her shoes as well also and she does have two peg holes at the bottom of her feet then her gloves are done very nicely you can see she has like this uh, weird katana hand going on Let's see if I can focus on it there you go this one's kinda done very weird kinda had to hold it at a weird angle and then this one's to kinda hold it normally with the handle and then the other gripe I have about it is I think the way the arms are I think the arms are a little bit too kind of muscular at this angle right over here because I know I've seen the the series a couple times and her arms do not look this this big she's kind of like a kind of a slim woman so I think that's not accurate but when you kind of put the arms down it kind of hides it just a little bit from the side just a tiny bit but I, I don't believe she's that that buff though like I said she's a slim woman very pretty but very slim let's go ahead and check out Electra's articulation alright so for Electra's articulation her head can look down very good as well as look up awesome but you do get that nasty kind of look going on right there her head pivots left and right and she also rotates left and right arms fully rotate go outwards that much no bicep swivel has a single bend at the elbow that goes about that much right there has a swivel at the elbow hands fully rotate and hinge down and up has an awesome diaphragm joint just like uh, Jessica Jones that helps her pivot left and right as well as a little bit forward but then you get gappage right there right there and then she moves back as well also and you get also a little gap right there also no uh, waist rotation right over here can do the splits about that much legs kick up that much no not that much back at all upper thigh swivel double jointed knees that move awesome and her feet hands down and up and she does have ankle pivot so good articulation love the way the uh, the diaphragm joint is on this figure only bad thing is it's just uh, the gapping that you get from the front and back and in case you guys wanted to see, here I have Electra with her alternate head sculpt. Looking pretty darn cool. And here I have Electra next to Gamora, and Electra stands taller than Gamora. Which is pretty, I don't know if that's accurate, but hey, it is what it is. Then here she is next to Gamora, and she stands taller than, not a Gamora, Nebula, she stands taller than Nebula, I'm tripping right now. And here we have her next to Jessica Jones, and she stands just a little bit taller than Jessica Jones. And then here I have Elektra next to my favorite Marvel Legends figure, the Juggernaut series Wolverine, and of course Elektra stands taller than Logan. And here I have Elektra all posed up for you guys, and I would recommend the figure. The figure is freaking awesome. Love the way the... Uh, the katanas kind of the way the hands are so you can have them in like multiple poses not just like a plane kind of just like holding just a regular katana or a sword really do like the way the options are like i said the only grabs i probably have is probably the way the uh, the ponytail is in case you want to put her like in a like have her head go sideways and the ponytail kind of gets in the way and the shoulders probably the only other grab that i have other than that figure is done awesome really do recommend it anyways guys thanks for watching my videos 
If you guys like my video, go ahead and thumbs up and also subscribe. Follow my Instagram and Twitter, AJ Watt Reviews for toy pickups and toy news and more uh, toy images. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great week.